covering the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Tonight we will take you on another grand exploration that is a visit that is a visit to a world famous hangout spot that is popular among visitors and residents alike. Now in this report, Megan Shepherd takes us to the place known for a very unique attraction. rings a bell around the world. The popular restaurant tucked away at the Freeport Harbor has become famous for their shark feeding attraction, which happens every night. Visitors and residents alike marvel at the shark feeding program that adds a new dimension to the dining experience. But Pair One also features a wide assortment of sushi as well. Owner Mario Donato Sr. has been in the business for some 45 years and says the Pair One restaurant has become a staple in the community. This is a restaurant that has been all over the world. We had the Jaco store here. We had the Italian German magazine, the big magazines. And, uh, and I believe we have a good reputation. We do 80%, 80% the Bahamian business. And uh, it's surprising, as my son said, because you wouldn't think a Bahamian get into raw fish. But it's amazing, it's beautiful. From toga rolls, volcano rolls, Bahama Mamas, shrimp tempura, caterpillar rolls, and much, much more. Pull up a seat and watch as the chef makes these unique rolls right in front of your eyes. Oh, and they even serve seaweed salads. 16-year-old Mario Jr. says he was surprised that the rolls were so well received by the locals. Of course we're known for the sushi. You know, they were... It's been something my father added recently. As you know, we didn't know that Bahamians would actually be into it because, you know, raw fish. But it actually became very successful. It's one thing that we're most known around the world, actually, for. And then another thing is the sharks, of course. You know, it's one of the only restaurants in the world where you could actually physically feed the sharks or watch them feed the sharks, you know. And then I have to say the sunset at night, it... No restaurant on the island beats it. Now, if sushi isn't much of your speed, Donato Sr. notes that they also serve other delicious meals. And of course, there's an in-house bartender. We have Bahamian food, Italian food, uh, continental food, and Asian food. Now, not only are they serving up delicious sushi and dinners, but here at Pair One at 7, 8, and 9 p.m., diners can witness a once-in-a-lifetime experience where they feed sharks. It's exciting. The children like to come out and watch the shark feeding. We have big sharks out here, large sharks, small sharks, baby sharks. The sharks are bull sharks, lemon sharks. So come on down and pair one restaurant, enjoy the sushi, have fun with the sharks. We also let you do the feeding. After the thrill of watching the feeding of the sharks, guests can return to the relaxing atmosphere. The Donatos say pair one is the place to be, and the breathtaking sunset every night just can't be beat. one of my favorite restaurants. And now to my favorite sorority, members of the Grand Bahama Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated to host a home ownership, maintenance and education fair this week at the Bahamas Union of Teachers Hall. Committee Chairperson DeAndre Sherman says that the fair will be beneficial to persons who are looking to purchase or build a home. She says lenders, appraisers, builders, insurers and real estate agents will all be a part of tomorrow's fair. We have um, Spartan Builders, a la carte, real estate agencies. We have insurance companies. We have Family, family Guardian. We have insurance management. We even have financial experts that are, that are going to be on hand. Paramount Consulting Agency, More Ways Financial. And it's just going to be a, pretty much an educational fair. Now, the Home Ownership Maintenance and Education Fair will be held tomorrow between the hours of 5.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. President Gayla McPhee shares why the organization decided to put on this event. The economy is 
not in the best state. And a lot of people are concerned about being able to afford a home and the options out there. And like she said, you don't necessarily have to build a home. You can buy a home. And for those persons that may already have a home, you may want to rent it. There are options, Airbnb, that's now popular. So we want to encourage people to come out so that they can see all of the options that they have out there. And now it is time to ask the doctor. This is Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Lawanda asked, I'm hypertensive and diabetic. I take my meds religiously every morning, but for the past few weeks, I've been waking up with severe headaches, almost migraine-like. Should I be concerned? Lawanda, thanks for your question. What you're describing is not uncommon. Severe headaches, even migraines, can be related to many medical conditions, including hypertension and diabetes. Even if you are on medications for a chronic condition, you can still experience signs and symptoms related to it, particularly if you are not regularly monitoring your blood sugar or blood pressure. For persons managing diabetes or hypertension with medication, it's extremely important to keep your regular doctor's appointments and do self-test as directed. Far too often, many people don't take headaches, even severe headaches and migraines seriously. Headaches can be a sign that your condition is not well controlled on your current medication and a new medication or dosage may be necessary. As a rule, any pain that is severe enough to keep you from sleeping or bad enough to wake you up is a reason to go and see your doctor or visit your community clinic for help. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a Jack on Sports is up next with Ramiko Knowles.